Hi again, so we just finished uh, doing the Keurig video, the three-year anniversary running of it, uh, see if it could make coffee still off of the original batteries from three years ago. That was successful, so we drew a fair amount of current out of the batteries. So this charger here, it's rated at 25 and 50 amps. There's a, a switch, a red button on the side. Get some light in here or not. Anyway, there's a the red button there. There's some dip switches here, controller, battery temperature sensor, and there's uh, two uh, battery cables. There's a, uh, a third battery connector there. I don't recall how that works. You have to look in the manual, but I chose not to use it with my system. Then there's a fan and a power switch, as well as there's the uh, remote device. I don't know what it is. Let's say, uh, get that to focus or not. I think it needs a bifocal. Anyway, it was RC900 or something along the lines of that. So let's uh, fire this up. So it's putting out 25 amps according to it. This thing agrees. This thing is very old. Hasn't been calibrated in a couple decades, so uh, I wouldn't say either of them are wrong or right, but it looks like they're it's plausible what's coming out of it. It's about 13 free volts for the mode. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the uh, dip switch number two is up. I can't remember what that's set to. You got to be very careful when you set that because if you're drawing load off of your batteries and trying to equalize it at the same time, you're going to cook your batteries. So uh, with this dip switch setting, you should be safe. So that's really uh, all I can show you about this inverter other than uh, this thing here. So uh, the green is U phase, amber is UO phase, red is I phase, and then uh, green here is power. So you can turn it off and on. And it sets the uh, charging based on your uh, dip switch.